The students come from the most populated province in Solomons. Today they mark Malay 32nd appointed day here at USP Latara campus. They come to this event to discuss development and leadership. The Latad Malaitans demanding development advancement from the current provincial ascendancy. A sub-government called Malita Provincial Assembly runs the province. They rely on funds from the national government and also has aid from the Israeli government. Senior Malaitan scholar George Eric, who speaks on entrepreneurship, is requesting women participation in economic development. Looking at the current and future trend in entrepreneurship in our country, we support women. I believe they have the competencies if we provide good support for them. As I've mentioned earlier on, uh, entrepreneurship training programs, mentoring services, uh, providing financial schemes for them, and uh, 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 microfinance schemes in this case. And they can collaboratively work together with our small medium enterprises agencies. For example, in Solomon Islands, the uh, small and medium enterprise comes from. Uh, these, these are kind of organizations that we need to work closely with uh, to promote entrepreneurship for our women to, to, to participate more in economic activities. Solomon Island students leader Anthony Mailasi lauded the current provincial administration despite limited resources the local government have. Malita leadership now is uh, taking a lot of uh, proactive steps uh, in terms of uh, uh, people participation, getting people to bear their concerns and views with regards to Malita leadership, which is a good thing, I think. Um, and to me, that's a good sign of a healthy democracy as well, uh, where people are having a say in terms of leadership. Scholars say students are provoked by the pressing issues towards development in the province. Being having the largest portion of Solomon students at the university, Malita scholars are motivated to develop the province after graduation. We as a scholars of uh, Malita uh, who are studying abroad uh, in the uh, University of South Pacific uh, local campus, we are happy that uh, this event, uh, it is um, a new beginning for us, the new generation of uh, and educated young people and uh, we believe that uh, a development for uh, a province will entirely depends on us the uh, scholars of uh, Malaita and uh, we are determined have a passion for our province and we have vision that uh, we are the ones and we are the children we are the young leaders for the province of Malaita. Malaita is typically the most resourceful island in the Solomons she has made some impressive gains economically in recent years, but it remains one of the undeveloped places in the Pacific. It is believed to be around 80% of its land not available for investors. That has a massive responsibility on the younger generation, when around 60% of the educated Solomon Islanders are from Malaita. The national government promised to Malaita has not been delivered and proposed development projects continue to hit the brick wall. It hopes that students who are come to study here will, like hundreds of others across the region, get the opportunity to contribute towards Malita and Solomon Islands development. This is Simon Abana for Once on Water News.